Hey y'all, Quail here to place the spotlight on another animal we can find here in the Sonoran Desert. This week we are going to be talking about the pack rat, also known as the white-throated wood rat. Now pack rats are nocturnal animals, meaning they are primarily active during the nighttime. And the reason they're able to do this is A, it helps them hide better from predators, but also they have these large eyes that allow them to see very well in the dark. And those eyes also play a, ro a large role in them being able to see well in their nests, their burrows that they make. Now, pack rat nests are also pretty interesting. They're more commonly referred to as midden, and these midden can range in size. They can be as big as eight feet in width in most cases. These midden are also continuously growing in size. Pack rats will continue to add to their nests for the entirety of their lives. Now, because of this, scientists have actually come to rely on midden to tell us things about the past. Ancient pack rat nests can actually be dissected in order to determine what plant life might have looked like in the area in the ancient times as far back as the Ice Age. One reason pack rats are fairly well known here in Tucson, Arizona is because they are actually known to cause a lot of problems. They love shiny things. So if you have a missing key, maybe some tinfoil CDs, those are often found in pack rat nests because, well, I mean, pack rats will grab those shiny things and take them back to the nest. They're also known to chew through wiring a lot in a lot of vehicles or maybe an exterior fridge, for example, and cause damage in that fashion. Now, pack rats are small animals. I actually have a skull here of a pack rat with me, and you can see it's pretty small in terms of, in reference to my hand. Now, they're small animals and they have a lot of predators that hunt them. And these predators include things like rattlesnakes, owls, coyotes, foxes, and bobcats. Pack rats, in order to protect themselves, actually, well, build defensive barriers around their nests using choya spines in order to keep those predators out. I can't imagine a snake would want to crawl through a lot of choya just to get to a pack rat. Now, pack rats are also herbivores, meaning they primarily subsist on prickly pear cacti, seeds, leaves, and other fruits and plants. Now, pack rats have two kinds of teeth. They have molars and incisors. The molars are these flat teeth in the back, while the incisors are these big buck teeth in the front. And the reason they have these incisors is it actually helps them gnaw through plant matter as well as defend themselves from predators in some fashions. All right, that concludes our spotlight on pack rats for now. Let me know if you've ever seen a pack rat out in the wild, and I'll talk to you next time with another animal here in the Sonoran Desert. Bye.